Many printers nowadays are AirPrint compatible. Once the AirPrint compatible printer is set up, you can print from your iPhone, iPod, or iPad without having to install any additional software on your iDevice. But what about your old school printers? Unfortunately, you cannot AirPrint to old printers. But the good news is that there is a workaround. In this tutorial, I will show you how to AirPrint to any printer from your iPhone, iPod, or iPad, even if the printer is not AirPrint compatible. This method uses Windows 7, Vista, or XP as an AirPrint receiver to print to your old printers. For this method to work, you must have iTunes installed, since iTunes contains a dryer that allows your PC to communicate with your iDevice. Let's get started. Step 1. Set up your printer to be shared within your Wi-Fi network. Go to the Start menu. Search Printers. Click on Devices and Printers. Right-click the printer you want to AirPrint to. Printer Properties. Select the Sharing tab. Check off Share this printer. Click Apply. Click OK. Step 2. Install AirPrint for Windows. Go to doitdummy.com slash downloads. Download Windows AirPrint Installer. Extract a file folder to your desktop. Open AirPrint Installer. Click Install AirPrint Service. Next, close the program. Double-click the file, AirPrint iOS 5 Fix 32-bit if your Windows system type is 32-bit. Double-click 64-bit if your Windows is 64-bit. To check your Windows system type, go to the Start menu, search System. Under System Type, you will see 64-bit or 32-bit. In my case, it is 64-bit, so I will run the 64-bit file. Next, open the program again, and click Start. Close the program and restart your computer. Now, let's try printing to the Windows printer. First, make sure you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Windows PC. Tap Share, Print, select your printer. Your Windows printer is now on your list of compatible printers. Select the printer and print. And this concludes the tutorial on how to print to any printer from your iPhone, iPod, iPad via Windows. I hope this helped. Please feel free to make any comments and don't forget to like this video as well as subscribe to my channel for more iPhone tutorials.